want to tell you about one of the world's greatest elements named after the world's greatest scientist Albert Einstein charming, handsome, very intelligent me as your host I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Einsteinium are you ready? okay let's go oh my what is it in the bush let's see oh my look it is all we need to know about Einsteinium are you ready to find out more okay Einsteinium uh, it has it has a uh, uh, 99 protons that, that's electrons though 99 protons same number of electrons and it on the edge around it has two two valence electrons okay one more important thing this element has 153 neutrons so its atomic mass is 252 and now I want to tell you about the life of Einsteinium no not me although it's a very interesting story the element Einsteinium its half-life which is 20 and a half days and to do this I have a very special object okay oh look in the tree I have the perfect idea I am going to show you you see a half-life is how long it take for the element to lose half its mass so this is Einsteinium for our little presentation in 20 and a half days this is going to be in half okay so I'll see you in 20 and a half days look 20 and a half days later you have half of the banana <laughs> now 20 and a half days later half of its mass will be missing again <laughs> 20 and a half days later again and again and then until no more <laughs> going to look for Einsteinium out here in nature okay let's take a look around This is because Einsteinium is not in nature. It is created in a lab, Ritori, by many scientists. Einsteinium was discovered in 1952 in two different labs that same year while they were both studying the waste of a nuclear bomb. One was one time it was discovered by Albert Gehorso in the University of California in Berkeley and also G.R. Chopin in Los Alamos National Laboratory discovered it as well. Einsteinium is not it cannot stay alive quote long enough to be used in any materials or to be used in anything. It's basically useless, like my sister. advertise on my rocket it's going to raise your sales anyways the only thing Einsteinium ever was used for was to actually discover another element Mendelevium speaking of other elements let's take a look at my big book here we have the periodic table it's divided into many different sections now if you look on the bottom you can see this group 
This is Einsteinium's own little square of inflammation. The 99 is the atomic number, 99 protons. ES is its symbol, it stands for Einsteinium. And the 252 is the atomic mass of Einsteinium, the protons plus the neutrons. Now, Einsteinium is, in, is found in the group of transition metals. Transition metals, they have a lot of similar carriers characteristics and properties. For instance, they all have one or two valence electrons that are a little bit less reactive than alkaline earth metals and they're all shiny, good conductors of thermal and electrical currents, higher densities and melting points than elements in groups one and two except for mercury. And we all found this information from the book Physical Science from school. <laughs> In the transition metal group, there is another group with elements called actinides. Einsteinium is one of these elements. Actinides have a few of their own special properties. For instance, they're radioactive and they are unstable. Also, after plutonium, one of the elements that are, it's actinide, after plutonium, all of those elements, they're made in laboratories. That means they don't exist naturally in nature. You get in the hang of this? That's what I thought. Anyhow, Einsteinium has its own few special informations. For instance, its melting point is a, is 860 degrees Celsius and it has 14 isotopes. Review time! Let's review. Einsteinium was discovered in 1952 by two scientists at the same time. They were researching the remains of a nuclear reaction. It, it is only found in lab, so you can't go outside in nature and get it. So it's not found in any common materials and it has no uses. It is also a transition metal and its symbol is ES, its atomic number is 99 and its atomic mass is 252. Hope you learned something today on Guess All Elements. This is Einsteinium. Bye bye. Auf Wiedersehen. You advertise on my rockets, it's going to raise your sales. <laughs>